Hi, I'm Rosalie Brown. Congratulations on the purchase of your new Fit Glide Comfort Toning System. This system incorporates exercises that will challenge your abs, legs, hips, buttocks, and even upper body. Before we get started with the workout, make sure your body is warmed up. You can do this by simply walking or marching in place or after your favorite cardio routine. Feel free to march right now on the spot as I explain the workout. We will be aiming for 30 reps of each exercise. All fitness levels should start with me and as you fatigue, feel free to rest and then start again. After 10 reps, I will demonstrate the more advanced movements for the exercise. Intermediate and advanced exercises should take advantage to mo these modifications. Feel free to try these moves when you feel ready for the challenge. The last set of 10 reps is where you can decide if you want to continue with the advanced movement or go back to the basic beginner movements. Let's get started. All right, for our first workout, what we're going to do is we're going to lock the big pad into place and the smaller pad is going to go right up against it. The second large pad is going to be rolling free. We're going to start with your basic ab glide. So your knees are on the large pad and you're just going to slowly glide forward and back. Glide forward and back. And again, you want to just go in a comfortable range of motion. Of course, the further you go out, the more challenge that you'll feel. You want to go at a nice, comfortable pace. We have four more to do at this beginner level. So again, you're just gliding forward, gliding back. Here we go, let's do three more. Two more, the beginner position. Last one, now to advance the moves, Simply place your toes onto the pad and extend. So you'll be going a little bit further. The knees will be hovering over the smaller pad as you extend out and tuck in. And extend out and tuck in. There's five more at this advanced move. Four, great job. Three more. Two. All right, for our last set of 10, here's where you decide. Are you going to continue with the advanced movement from the toe for nine more reps or you can drop back down onto the knees? Good job guys, we're almost there. We've got five more and four. Last three and two and one. Fantastic, tuck back in, place your knees back on the pad. Our second exercise, we're gonna go into a basic plank. So all I want you to do, again, from the knees to start off with is just glide out. Beginners, you should be comfortable with this position. For the more advanced, take it up onto the toes. And we're just gonna hold it here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. For the next exercise, we're gonna place our knees on the moving pad. So you're gonna rotate your body, and this is gonna focus more on your buttocks, hips, and thighs. Relax your elbows. Again, we're all gonna start from the knee for the first set, and then tuck in. So you wanna press away, nice long extension, and then tuck in. So press out, and in. You should really feel the buttocks working as you extend out, and then tuck in, extend out, Good job. There's five more in this first set. And four. And three. Here comes two. And again, to advance the movement, if you need that extra challenge, place your feet or your toes on the bigger pad. Slide in, press out. Slide in, press out. Good job. Tuck and press, and tuck, and press. Here's five, and four, three, last two. Your third set of 10, your choice, stay on the toe. Or again, you can drop to the knee. For eight, and seven, and six, or back to the toe, feel free to go in between both. Four, three, two, and last one. Again, we're gonna go into a plank. Start from the knee, 
hold here. If you want to advance it onto the toe for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, awesome. Bring those knees back in. For our third exercise, we're going to be doing the push up. Now, you're going to keep your knees on the moving pad. You're going to place your hands on the floor and you're going to extend, drop, up, and in. Extend, drop, up, there you go. Extend, down, up, and in. Extend, drop, up. Good, you want to try and touch that pad every time. Five more at this basic level. Four more. Extend, drop down. Three more. Extend, drop down, push up. Two more. Great job. One more in our first set of 10. All right, to advance the move, toes. So extend, drop, press, and pull. Extend, drop, press, and pull. Extend, drop, press. Looking good. Extend, down, up, and in, and out. Feels great landing on the comfort pads. Five more for the advanced. And in. Four more. And three. Here's two. One more. Here's your choice now for your last 10. Stay up on the toes. Or again, you can go back to the knee. Down, up, in, and out and down, and up, and in, and out, and down, and up. Keep going, down, press. Again, go down. We got five more, feel free to advance it. And down, and up, and out. And three more. And two more. Last one. Great job. Tuck it in. All right, for our next exercise, it's a fun one. It's called the inchworm. We're going to unlock the pads and remove the smaller pad. So you can just place that out front. So with the inchworm, you're going to place your knees on one pad, elbows on the other, and you're going to try and stabilize in the center as you extend both the arms and the legs at the same time. So if you're traveling on the track, that's okay. Try and stay in one space. And in. Reach out. Tuck in. Reach out. Tuck in. Reach out. Tuck in. Good. Four more. Three more. Two, and to advance this move, again, you're going to come up onto the toes and extend out, tuck in, extend out, tuck in, extend out, tuck in, extend out, tuck in. Four more. Here's four, and three, and two. One more, last set, your choice. If you want to go back down onto the knees for the inchworm and extend reach. So you're pressing out with the arms and the legs at the same time. And push and pull and push and pull. Extend. Give me five and four. Last three, two, one more. Fantastic. Now our next move works the inner thighs. So, beginners, you're going to place a small pad in front of you. Place your hands on the pad and put one knee on either of the big pads. And you're just going to gently glide out and glide in and glide out and glide in. Good job. Glide out, glide in, glide out, 
slide in, press and pull and press and pull and out. Good job. Five and four. Three more. Two. One more. Awesome. Now to advance, come up and press and pull and press. Great job. Press out, pull in. Just start with little movements at first. Press out, tuck in, press out. Good job. Give me five and four and three, two. Here comes your decision now. Are you gonna stay with this advanced move or place your hands back on the pad? I'm gonna stay high for 10 and nine and eight. Seven, six, nice job. Five, four, feel those inner thighs work. Three, last two, and one. Great job. Let's go back and lock one of the pads in place. Place the smaller pad on the track, and we're gonna sit on it and really focus on the abdominals. So sit comfortable on the larger pad hands on your sides, and you're gonna extend the legs as you lean back. So extend and tuck, and extend and tuck. Good, extend and tuck, extend. Nice job, five and four, three, two. Advance the move by lifting your hands up and in. And up, and pull. Lean back, tuck in, lean back. Great job. Seven, and in. Six, awesome. Five, extend the legs. Four, feel those abs go on fire. Three, two, your choice. Keep those hands up, or place them on the side of the bench. Great job. Seven more, and pull, and six, and five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. All right, let's work our hamstrings and our buttocks. We're gonna lie back, placing the majority of our back on the two pads, and we're just gonna lift our feet up onto the moving pad. Beginners, all we're gonna do, and hang onto the pad with your hands, is lift and lower. Squeeze and lower, and squeeze. So every time you're lifting, you're squeezing your butt cheeks together. Squeeze, good job. Five, four, three. Again, if you feel this challenging enough, stay with this very same movement. If you wanna take it to the next level, this time we're gonna glide. So it's out and in, and nine and in, and eight and in, awesome, seven and six and five, four, three, two. Here comes your choice. Stay with the advance or go back to the beginner for our last 10 and nine and eight, seven, great job, squeeze the buttocks, keep the abdominals tall, awesome, out and in, I need four more, and three more, last two, and one, good job, just roll the, back, the pad back into place, slowly roll your body back up, and we're gonna do a second set of those jackknifes because they're so effective for your abs. So make sure you're sitting on the lock, lock pad, holding on, and all you're gonna do is extend the legs as you roll back. Extend the legs, roll back, extend, and pull. Good job, out and in. And press and pull. And five, and pull. And four, good, lean. Three, two, ready to advance the move? Release those hands and in, and back. Awesome, extend and pull, 
extend and pull. Nice, out and in. And five and four, three more, two, your choice, last set. Hands at the side or extend. Last eight, reach, pull, seven, pull, good, six, and pull, and five, and pull, four, three more, two, and one. Awesome job. We're gonna place our knees on the lock pad. We're almost done our workout. We're gonna go back to our first basic ab glide. So again, you're just sliding forward and back, and forward and back, and forward and back, and forward and back. Again, you want to extend that body in five, and back, and four, and back, three, two, here comes the challenge if you're ready for it. Toes up, and 10, and nine, and eight, seven, six, and five, and four, and three, two, your choice. Toes or knees, finish strong. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop down to your knees, slide forward and hold a plank for me for 10 and nine. Again, you have that option of the toes, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Tuck it in. And I know I'm ready to stretch it out. This first stretch I love. You're just gonna stay on the lock pad and the small pad and just glide forward and reach. Continually stretching. Take advantage of the moving pad as you push further and further. So you're lengthening your arms. Slow down your breathing. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Reach those fingertips, keep pushing. Make it an active stretch. And now we're gonna round our back up, pulling it in. Bring the pad towards you. Open up your shoulder blades. And let's go down again, sit back. Reach your arms. Great job. Round up, tuck it in. Two more, here we go, stretch out. Round it up. Feel those shoulder blades stretch out in opposite directions, reach down. For our next stretch, we're gonna sit on the lock pad and we're just gonna put our legs in a V position and we're just gonna reach forward with the arms. Feel that awesome stretch. Pull your toes towards you as you again, make it an active stretch. Keep reaching and reaching, not bouncing, but gentle pressing, push. Eight, seven, six, go a little bit further, five, exhale out, four, reach it longer, three, two, roll it in towards you, come on up, and let's stretch forward again, and push and hold for eight, Pull your toes towards you, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and glide it back in. As you can tell, it's an awesome workout. We worked your upper body, we worked your abs, we worked your buttocks, we worked your inner thighs. Consistency is the number one key to your exercise success. Try to give me five times a week and do some active living. Thanks for joining me today.